Mheshimiwa Kosin Kapinguria and Clean Power uh, yet we generate out of Takwel. Uh, I'm, I'm surprised that the substation in Otum, which our chairman speaker, I would like to invite you to my, my first report to Parliament in line with the Constitution, which captured serious project gunshots on an Otum. I've just checked an uh, Otum substation uh, is in my project gunshots. It should have been finished. I don't know what happened when I left the office. And uh, so my first assignment would be to review and check what has not with the unfinished work. I'd like to invite members to look at that report. It's a report I made to Parliament in my first year in line with the Constitution, uh, article which requires uh, cabinet secretaries to make a report periodically to Parliament. And the unclean power is a vo voltage. You know, Chairman, our systems operate at 240. And when the voltage drops, then we are even likely to damage your devices. So even where I come from, we, we, it's western part of the country and the voltages are very weak. So around 7 to 10 at night, when all the homes are switched on, the voltages drop. So we just switch off Kenya Power and run on a generator, which is very expensive. So the challenge that faces Kenya is not even the cost of power, because we can continuously run on generator and still make money. The problem is the unclean power which damages some of our devices. So we need uh, that substation in Otum, uh, but more importantly we need to finish the old carrier Lesos. Um, I think it's a 400 kV line to ensure that we are able to carry high voltage, low current and step it down. Western Kenya, western part of Kenya has got a challenge and I think we need to address that. We know the problem, we need to put some investment and obey the timelines in line with the project defined so that we close some of these issues. So we're going to look at that, Banako uh, Singh. Um, uh, Siri in Balambala, yes, again, it's a comment. Uh, we want to treat Garissa where the power is coming off from solar at 50 megawatts. There is no reason why the community of interest do not have power, and we need to look at that. Uh, within the, within the, the station, we can be able to have a small substation to serve the uh, community of concern or the community of interest where we are picking the power from within Carissa and Balambala area. Uh, strategic reserves is becoming a must. We need to look at that. Currently, we do our fuel purchases using spot, spot purchases, which are done through the open tender uh, procurement system, and it's managed by OMCs. Uh, the government doesn't put any money, they compete well, and I think we get good price of uh, petroleum products and uh, petroleum and petroleum products until we have this challenge uh, which is facing the whole world. But yes, we need to have strategic reserves, we need to build enough tankage, we need to see how best to utilize uh, the KPRL uh, facility, uh, dimension enough storage, but be very careful so that we don't do what is equivalent to aging, or as we age, we make sure we understand so that we are not holding expensive fuel when the price of fuel has gone down, or, uh, or vice versa, which would be advantage, uh, of advantage to the country. So we will quickly look at that and, and, and address the need for strategic reserves uh, uh, for our country. Uh, Gekaria, NOC, capacity charge, fuel charge, and the gas, um, is something that let me talk to let me talk to to gas first there's been so much improvement in the use of gas in this country today and i did pick some numbers which i want to just refer to very quickly um the per capita use of gas in kenya 15 years ago was a 2.3 kilogram per household today we are at 7.5 with this one energy, one energy gas and the initiatives that we have done albeit the challenge of the one investor 